Moore attacking, and it's swatted away by Giannis. As well, the Bucks.com since the trade. So, a blockbuster show as you see Giannis get the end one there, DB and John. Puts it on the deck. A lot of contact. Loose ball. Here come the Bucks. Out ahead. Giannis, easy flood. Damian Lillard one on one against Christie, and Lillard splits slash. Just simple, right? 108 97. The Milwaukee Bucks win in the preseason game against the Los Angeles Lakers. Our first small little sample and preview of what it looked like to see Giannis and Dame Lillard on the same court. I would say Lillard looked damn good. Yeah, that was corny. But yeah, um, it was a good showing. Uh, not too many minutes distributed between the two, but it was enough to show that these guys have some good chemistry together. Um, Giannis had 15 minutes. But in 15 minutes, man, Giannis was on a tear. I mean, 16 points, 8 rebounds, and he even had an assist. As for Lillard, he played a little bit more. He had uh, 22 minutes. Uh, you know, he had 14 points in 22 minutes, 3 dimes. Uh, that's pretty damn good, man. 3 dimes and 2 rebounds, actually. Um, I really like what I saw um, in the team in general. Um, I think... Uh, When they play down the line in the regular season, as time go on, I think the chemistry will get even better and better. You can already tell this early, although it's just a preseason game, really don't mean anything. But um, you can tell uh, these two guys was meant to play with each other. And then imagine, well, you don't have to imagine because you didn't see Chris Middleton play. You're taking Chris Middleton out the mix, but if you throw him in, once you implement him back into the system, Man, the Bucks are going to be hella dangerous, man. Um, Jay Crowder, I think, uh, is starting to get in the mix a little bit. Um, he has a new system, and I think he trusts the coach this year. Um, that's why he came back to Milwaukee. He had 24 minutes. I think he led in minutes. Giannis led in all scores. Now, actually, campaign was the lead in minutes. Campaign, 12.7 dimes and three rebounds. I like campaign as the backup. Like I said, I was very excited to get campaign over here. And uh, he moves the ball down the floor very well. He still got that quick step and that speed. And you know he can shoot the lights out once he, uh, he gets going if he's in that shooting mode. Bobby Portis played 21 minutes. He had uh, eight boards, as we expect him to do. He's a double-double kind of guy, but, you know, he had – he had a pretty good game with his eight boards and ten points. Bochamp played 15 minutes. I've been liking what Bochamp has done so far in these uh, preseason games. Uh, his game is pretty smooth. He can uh, get to the Baja. He can stroke it outside. Um, he can move the ball. He passes the ball very well. He always gets back hard on defense. He's always down low. Uh, I mean, I, I like. I'm, I'm really excited to see more from this kid. And Andre Jackson, our draft pick, Bo Champ out of our young guys, and the jury's still out on Livingston. Didn't play many minutes. He only played nine, and then the game before that, Livingston played seven minutes. I think he scored like seven points in seven minutes. But I think a lot of people see a lot of stuff special. I think he may be like a hidden, a hidden gem for uh, Milwaukee. Um, I see a lot of uh, potential. Um, he has unlimited potential as his game grows as well. But like I said, I like to see him in the preseason play a game where they just throw him out there into the fire and let him play about a good, I want to say about a good at least 15, 20 minutes hard for him. And then I can be able to see what he's going to bring to the table as far as, you know, his game go. Because I didn't see much of him in Kentucky enough to see where I was like, you know, what kind of pro he'll be. But I just knew he'd be a good pickup for him if they drafted him you know, uh, for the future. Pat Connaughton also did a great job on the boards, as he usually does. Uh, 12 points for him as well. Eight rebounds. He dropped two dimes. Uh, not much out of seven out of Robin Lopez in 17 minutes, but his uh, twin brother, Brooke, played 22 minutes and also had 11 points and uh, four rebounds in that game. So pretty solid overall for the team. And I definitely don't want to leave out the former Laker, Malik Beasley, he had 24 minutes, 8 points, and 5 rebounds. He also dropped 2 dimes himself. Now, interesting enough, Griffin wants to put him on the top offensive players on the opposite team. 
Some fans say yay, some fans say nay to that, but we have to wait and see. He, he sees something in Beasley that probably the fans don't see or the casual fans don't see. I've already said that he'll be special for us on both sides of the floor. I believe that. And then with Griffin's system, I think he's going to thrive in it as well. I believe he actually can take the starting spot from Pat Connaughton at a two guard. But that's yet to be seen. We'll see more and more. Great victory for the Milwaukee Bucks. Peace and blessings, y'all. I'm out.